I will be explaining how to do the post lab of UTA 508 synthesis of TRIS 110 phenanthrally and also if you are looking for how to do the lab there's an awesome video on the UTA website that you can look at there. So take note that I'll be using my numbers just because I'm familiar with them and also I'm not perfect these numbers won't get a perfect percent yield or an actual yield just to let everyone know. Now number one is asking for the actual yield which is asking for what you actually have of red crystals, what you recovered from your last lab. And that is your vial and crystals minus your dry vial. And that would be about one gram for me. And take note that that would be about three sig figs because it's asking how precise when you're subtracting. Number two asks for the number of moles. And we know that from number one that we have one gram. And we would need to know the molar mass. So to find the molar mass of iron tris fen chloride salt, we would just add up all the numbers and then find the molar mass. But also take note that you're multiplying fen by 3, just if you look at the compound, and then adding it with iron and chloride. And then you should have approximately 667.35, which is 5 sig figs, and you're given 3 sig figs, so you don't have to worry about the number of sig figs from your molar mass, because as long as it's more than you're given, then you're going to end up with 3 sig figs anyways if that made sense. Now, you would have 0 0.00150 moles of iron tristan chloride salt. Number four is asking what is the limiting, oh I'm sorry, number three is asking what is the limiting reagent in this experiment and you need a balanced chemical equation to answer this question. So let's we'll start with the, that and ferrous ammonium sulfate plus three fen would produce one mole of iron tristan chloride salt. Now it's also asking uh, which is the limiting reagent, which is which one would produce the least amount of iron tris fen chloride salt. So if A or um, ferrous ammonium sulfate was the limiting reagent and I decided to use A just to make things easier to write, how much, how many moles could it produce of iron tris fen chloride salt? So if you're given 0.9 5 grams of A, you use mole, molar mass and the mole-to-mole -mole ratio, which is 1 to 1, you would end up with 0 0.0024 moles. If Fen was your limiting reagent, you'd do the exact same thing. You would figure out how many moles of iron tris fen chloride salt would be created. So let's start with 1.13 grams. You use molar mass. Then notice that it is a 3 to 1 mole ratio because 3 Fen would create 1 mole of iron tris fen chloride salt, and you would end up with 0 0.00209 moles. Also notice that three sig figs, but in the end, your fen is your limiting reagent. Number four is asking, calculate the theoretical yield. So under theoretical conditions, how much red crystals could you have recovered? And take note that iron tris fen chloride salt has a mass of 667.35 grams per mole. And you know that your limiting reagent is fen and it can only produce 0 0.00209 of this. So you multiply the two numbers together and you would end up with your uh, theoretical yield in grams, which is 1.39 grams. So basically, if you redid this lab, did everything under perfect conditions, and you ended up recovering 100% of it, you would have 1.39 grams of red crystals. Number, oh, but also notice that we only produced one gram. So for number five, it's asking for your percent yield, which is actual over theoretical, actual being what you actually ended up with, which is one gram, and theoretical, meaning under perfect conditions, what did you end up with, which is 1.39, which would make 71.9 percent yield. So for number six and number seven, I can't really help you much there because a lot of the teachers want you to learn it on your own. But you can go to the chem tutors at the chem clinic and they'd be more than happy to help. Now let's go straight to the discussion because we're not doing 6 and 7. Uh, don't forget to go to your TAs before you listen to this because a lot of them have their own templates. But if not, you could do what I do, which consists of mentioning your actual yield, your theoretical yield, your percent error, or your percent yield. You can also include sources of error, which can consist of maybe your calculations were just too much and your calculator cried and it broke down. Just kidding, that's not possible. But also there are also human errors 
where you just did the entire lab watching someone else and they answered and filled in numbers for you. And there are people who do that. But anyways, or if you did this entire lab, what would you do to fix your mistakes if you were to redo this lab? And last but not least, thank you for watching and I hope this helped a little bit. Bye.